to the depth of that. Um, that so it wouldn't be a fair comparison to say, for instance, the deck we just built at Sixth and Walnut, um, it, yeah, that per space cost would be far lower than this per space cost would be. So my guess is what, well, you know, what is 50, 50, 5. 5. 3 million divided by 100, yeah. So and what's the cost, the comparable that you just said we'll put the deck? Above ground space, they're about $20,000 of space to build. So it is at 50, Thousand of space, you're talking about approximately a five million dollar right. debt, which is what yeah. uh, ESSA is advancing uh, for this. Right, and, 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 should be covered and, and you know, and, and we had you know similar <coughs> um, for city center strata yeah. one, and you know, and having having underground parking is so critical um, for the success of an urban apartment community. But I think in this bed. The neat thing about this project is that we're really almost going to be able to get two turns on most of the parking spaces because of the residential and then the the, the, the public use. So um, you know that kind of makes that number feel a little bit better. But 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 parking is expensive, and that's why I said Tamara is our partner in everything we do because you know that's that's the biggest challenge in urban development is you know how do you provide and fund parking, and that's why there's parking for us. And, and even though it's it's this podium idea, this is, has the, the cost penalty of underground parking. So if you were to go down three more flights, it would be even more expensive. Yeah, yeah. even more. Yes. And that's why we think, you know, we, we felt that we, we, the easy thing we would do is just do one level of parking without going underground. We'd probably come in at like 30 or 35,000 of space, but we needed to get, we needed to get to a level of parking that would be able to accommodate the residential use and, and continue to, to accommodate the existing users. And that's why we ended up doing two levels. Okay. Are there any further questions from the board? All right, uh, we have two resolutions in front of us. Uh, resolution 2016-100, is there a motion to approve that re resolution? Move that resolution. So moved by Mr. Williams, Second. seconded by Mr. Torres. Uh, and um, we'll, I, I'll, I'll ask to entertain a motion also to uh, move the resolution. No. no. Take it one at a time. Take one at a time. And, okay. and, and at some point you have to invite yes. the public yeah. comment. Okay. But I'll I'll invite, you call. I just want to clarify for the authority what action you're taking. Is to this approve is a, strata as, as a as use a under project. your existing agreement. Under okay. use, under the parking existing. will be separate, we'll deal with that. Okay. Are, are there any comments from the public with regard to strata as a project? Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> Yeah, you go ahead. Um, yeah, uh, so this is my first time adding like this, so forgive me if you've already covered this. Um, but do I hear you talking. Do you? No, 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 sorry. Can we vote? Can you please identify who you are? Oh, I'm yeah, here. I'm Courtney Newcomer. And who I, you are with? I live uptown. Are you just a resident? Is it you? Yes. Just a resident. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I think you're just a resident. Well, I mean, you're a resident. I'm not part of the newspaper. Right. Okay. 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 Okay, let's start there. Or you, or you want to comment before, before they vote? we vote or after? Uh, well, after makes it seem like silly. So okay, so why don't you comment before? Um, <laughs> so maybe this is something you've talked about earlier. Um, but uh, when you're discussing the building, this building, um, I've heard you cover it's uh, how it's going to affect the arts community downtown. Um, I appreciate all the conversation about parking um, and partnering with new businesses. Um, but uh, a building like this doesn't just affect businesses and arts, it also affects people. Um, so I'm wondering if we've done any research about social impacts that a building like this would have on the existing um, social fabric. Uh, I heard you say earlier that uh, one of the functions of a building like this is to build a critical mass for uh, businesses downtown. Uh, I don't go downtown too often because those drinks are so expensive that I can't even afford to get drunk and I'm small. <laughs> so um, when you say, when we're calling this a critical mass of people to support those businesses, um, 
I mean, I consider myself a young professional, but that doesn't apply to me. So I'm wondering um, who these people are and um, how, how uh, what's clearly going to be an influx of new residents is going to mesh with what we already have here and if there's been any research regarding social impacts. Well. speak specifically to social impact, but it speaks to a variety of other impact with respect to uh, employment, fiscal, um, and, and a few other areas. Um, uh, I guess first and foremost, you know, it is in the city commissioned a study by Goody Clancy, uh, a master planning of the downtown. And so, um, in that study, you know, was conducted over six or eight months with focus groups and considered all of those things to a very large degree. Good clients is a, a consulting firm out of Boston. And so um, the recommendations with respect to, you know, uses in, in where they should be and the, the, the level they should be and the type they should be, whether, whether it's affordable housing, market rate housing, what have you, with respect to residential, it's all contained in that study. So basically, with this part of the plan, um, our project is, is, is right in alignment with that study. So the answer to your question is yes. You have done so many yes. tax studies then. Yes. Um, so I'm sorry because I haven't read the Goody Clancy study, so thank you for informing me of it. Did you come to a conclusion about including um, any affordable housing? I know that uh, I, in our nation, the number one cause of family homelessness is a lack of affordable housing. So, I mean, this seems like a great opportunity for Allentown to get involved um, in being a resource for people who are in need. And um, I mean, that would be wonderful if we were able to do that for our community. So did, with the um, verdict of including uh, inclusion yeah, housing? We concluded that it wasn't.
Um, as it stands, one or two buildings that represent very specific interests um, are what they are. But buildings that incorporate varied interests will be welcome to spread and grow by a greater amount of the population. Um, so, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying about uh, financial considerations and uh, there's work being done there. It just seems like the kind of project that we should take every single opportunity we have to engage with. Um, and I'm sorry that uh, that didn't meet up with your fiscal concerns for this project. Yes. And I might add that I've, I've, I've been at every meeting because of my back, but I've heard this discussed before, and I know one board member resigned over the issue of lack of affordable housing. And, you know, if there's, if there's any way you can amend this, I mean, I think it behooves you to amend it because you've got to start somewhere. The bottom line isn't everything. We're talking about a city here, not a city as people, not, not just dollars and cents. So. I need to let it on. I'm yeah. abstain on these two resolutions. Just to okay. <coughs> Are there any more comments? Not. I'll entertain them. The motion is, is in front of us. Uh, Mr. Kucek is, is going to abstain. All in favor? Aye. Uh, any opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, the project is approved. The next resolution that's before us is R2016-101, which is the approval of the unit of underground parking under Stratic uh, at Symphony by the Allentown Parking Authority. And the resolution 2016-101 is in front of you. Do I have a motion to approve that resolution? So moved by Mr. Williams. Second. Approved by, uh, seconded by Mr. Uh, Butler. And um, <coughs> is there, are there any uh, discussion from the board? If I, if I may, uh, yes. Bob, I just want to reiterate what has already been said, but specifically to, with regard to this resolution, they are creating a condominium complex. The separated parking will be owned by the Allentown Parking Authority that also happens to be the owner of the property and they will be the declarant in accordance with condominium law. And they will be borrowing $300,000 from the uh, East Stroudsburg Savings Association Bank and Trust, now known as ESSA Bank and Trust. We do have a draft of a commitment letter from them signed we are negotiating some minor changes to it, and the parameters of the loan will be a construction loan period of approximately 18 months, maybe much shorter, according to Mr. Riley, and it will be a permanent loan with a 15-year amortization. And the source of the revenue, the primary source as far as the bank is concerned, will be the pledge of uh, NIS revenues from city center investments portfolio of NIS revenues that they receive, and it will require a, an agreement for the allocation by the branch banking and trust company that really holds the uh, paper with regard to the $325 million loan that City Center has. This project will be submitted to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the Department of Community and Economic Development, and will also be submitted to Moody Services for the normal way. Are, are, there, go for it. are there any comments from the public? Yes. Um, I don't know if you can give me an answer to this or not, but I was trying to follow and I don't think I did. I apologize. Um, how much, how many more spaces do you anticipate will be available at the completion of this project than there are now? And how much more expensive Will the spaces be on average? I, I don't. I think you addressed it, but I didn't. I didn't catch it. There are 63 spaces on the lot now. There will be somewhere between 103 and 105 spaces on the deck then. Um, the cost to park for an hourly parker will actually reduce. 
because our deck parking allows the provision for uh, the first 30 minutes of your stay to be free. So all of the visitors coming to stay on an hourly basis will actually pay less to park than they, they pay now. They pay a dollar an hour now, they'll pay a dollar an hour then, but the first 30 minutes will be free. Now, now you're going to sell monthly and you and you sell monthly you sell you're going to sell monthly lots and you sell monthly lots now That's how much more expensive are the monthly lots going to be ten dollars more a month yes. and how much are they now $65. so it'll go up to 75 okay thank you are there any other questions uh, hearing none um uh, and we have a motion on the floor to approve uh R-2016-101, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The ayes have it. The uh, parking authority. Before uh, you proceed, Mr. Chairman, uh, since I'm also a secretary, I do a few things. Yes. Uh, I need to know who made the motion for that. The motion was made by Mr. Williams, okay. and it was seconded by Mr. Lovett. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you Mr. Riley. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. Good. Sure. Um, <clears throat> next order of business. Excuse me. The next order of business is the. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. I'm gonna have to plug in soon. Uh, a modification to the letter agreement as modified previously with the Cannon Miller and Company and Force 4 LLC to implement compliance changes necessitated under the amended NISN. Uh, resolution 2016-102. Do you want to just explain yeah. that? Uh, the, under the revised act, if you spoke your about it before, there are new provisions concerning compliance there is also a provision that allows for utilization of the hotel tax so these are expanded responsibilities that our accountant will have to deal with this is the this is our accountant that deals with the uh, certification and the allocation these are additional additional duties that they'll have to deal with plus we have now received two requests from developers for assistance in attempting to, I'll call it, model uh, their ability to report NIS tax revenues so that they basically can get the best benefit of, of their development that they can. We have not allowed that to be done before. Uh, we are part of this resolution. We'll approve and allow for our the accounting group, the Concanon and, and Force Four, uh, to be able to do that. The administrator will build for those services that are then provided by these people, and then we will receive the revenue and then pay Concanon and Force Four their portion of the fee that will be charged to the developers. Uh, it, it won't be big revenue, but it will be an additional form of revenue for you. It will help developers who seem to be struggling in an attempt to put together their business model and how to deal with this. And this, this is just an expansion of our existing contract, which has another year to run uh, with Concanon and Force to, to perform the, the basic functions uh, of compliance that we've had them do up to now. Yes, sir. Uh, who will own the, the IP, the work product of Concanon at the end of As I understand it, the way it's been presented to me, and this is very complicated stuff, so my understanding is very peripheral. Um, the, our compliance officer, by experience through this process, has been able to develop a package on how to model your business. Yeah. Uh, at this time, our compliance officer is also engaged by other communities who have not an is, but a quiz, mm -hmm. and 
has been able to apply that model to those other communities. And now what we're doing is going to bring it back to, I guess, the, the starting point for the NIS and the CRIS to allow it. So it, it's, it's, it's software, I think, uh, and, and I'm not quite sure how fully it's developed. It's not a lot of time on behalf of the, our compliance officer, the accounting firm, but it makes life a lot easier for the developer who doesn't understand at the beginning. That's my understanding. I don't think we'll own it. No, no, it'll be owned. The work way. product will be owned by this. The work product of theirs. But it will help facilitate more development. Yeah, which is, there, there is at least what we're trying to do. One of the developers, I, I, I don't want to put anybody in class or organization, but one of the developers really needs help. Okay, so. Uh, I'm just trying to clarify if, if, if three other developers who really need help come right behind them, you have to pay out to this um, compliance officer three more times. Well, we don't have to pay it out. The developers pay it out. We will be reimbursed. But it, the only reason why it's flowing for us is that gives us a way of controlling we can get the, 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 uh, the service of Because otherwise, we have no way of controlling who's, who's getting what services. And we don't want any favoritism in terms of you know, uh, trade secret kind of, you know, one person gets one thing and another person doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, it'll also, it'll, in the end, it will make it easier for the compliance officer who has to go to Harrisburg and you know review 600, 700, 800 reports. Yeah. She'll yeah. at least know that the reports she works with are going to be relevant. Thank you. Okay. Uh, there a motion to approve this uh, uh, resolution? Tiffany stepped out for a moment there. You need to Tiffany stepped out for a moment. Sure. Uh, yeah. uh, there a motion to, uh, to, to this resolution, R-2016-102. Moved by Mr. Diaz, seconded by Mr. Lovett. Are there any discussion on with respect to this resolution? Uh, uh, one thing that I'm wondering, does our financial consultant advisor have any comment on this? Do you have any issue with it? I, I have not seen it, but, but you do need these things because these, these reports are, are sophisticated reports that need to be right when they go into the government. If they're not right, you don't get the money, and, as we've experienced. Um, and uh, you're also dealing with, many times, people who weren't used to this thing. And so, you know, the work which she has done has been excellent in helping our developers. But, so I, I, I assume she's got a good product from the software situation. So I was very fond of it. It just based on my experience. Thanks. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution 2016-102 is approved. All right. Pedro, you can leave now. We've got a quorum back again. Mr. Chairman, before you start with the next resolution. I'm yes. oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, with the next resolution. While we were sitting here, I received a email from the attorney representing America on Wheels. Yes. And um, they wish to change the terms of the transaction. Whether or not you wish to proceed with the resolution and deal with the change in the terms, or you want to withdraw the resolution and you will be able to their proposed change in the terms. Uh, is the change significant? It's financial. It's more money. In what portion? The square the rent. The rent? They want to increase the twenty dollars per square foot. Too much. Well, they're they're pushing for back to the twenty five that they agreed to reduce the twenty and are saying that they were willing to meet us halfway, however. And come in at 2250. Why 
on your table. Come on your table. Well, they just don't get down. Yeah. You don't want to take this. Just withdraw it from the. You withdraw it from the. You have to look at other options. I didn't think that's. I also have some estimates on the yeah. foundation. Okay. All right, let's take Sorry. It. Sorry. No, let's take it. Just to be on the record, that the email came in at 438. Yeah. I shouldn't have been looking at my email. That's all right. But I did. Well, that's all right. Let's, let's take it. All right, let's go on to uh, item number eight, which is the approval of transferring the authority funds currently in the Goldman Sachs Prime Fund to a government money market mutual fund with a fixed asset value. Resolution R-2016-104. Would you like to uh, explain that uh, generally, um, Mr. Sh uh, Solicitor? Yes, I will. As soon as I get my this one, you might be here. Um, we received notice from Bank of New York Mellon, which is basically the depository of the funds dealing with the arena. That the Securities and Exchange Commission has made a change in their rules effective, uh, I guess, sometime in July is when we got our notice. Uh, I'm sorry, the effective date, the effectiveness of this is October 14th, but we were notified in July. The issue involves and again, I'm going to do my best to explain what is otherwise complicated and tough, maybe all my things can help. We are, we are invested in the Goldman Sachs fund, funds, and it's called a prime fund. And the change in the rules state basically that prime funds have to go to what they call a flexible uh, asset value which means they're going to recalculate the earnings and the asset value can go up or it can go down. Uh, we're here today because fixed. So they are, they're giving us the opportunity to transfer those funds to what has been identified away from the prime fund to government money market mutual funds that actually have fixed asset value. Now, we're talking about primarily additional funds, but primarily the debt service reserve that we have. And it's clear to me, and I hope you would concur, that it is critical that we keep that fund at a fixed asset value uh, and not be subject to the ebbs and flows of the marketplace. So that's the source of this resolution. We have asked our financial advisor to go through the information that I received from Bank of New York and make a recommendation as to which of the funds, the alternative funds, we should seek. And I have that recommendation. Unfortunately, it came later than I had in preparing the resolution. But uh, there is a, a, we were given opportunity to, to look at three, three different types of government money market funds all of which are fixed asset value. And within each one of those groupings, there were six or eight funds. So our financial advisor has given me advice as to which fund to go with and which group to take. But by giving, if you approve of this resolution, this will give the chair uh, the opportunity to complete the paperwork and follow through to do this. So that the funds can be transferred properly. The only thing I would add to what Jerry said is you, you can't afford the risk of, of, of a change in, in that fund. It's well because you have to make it up because you're required to uh, more than support the bonds. And so uh, you have to go to a fund which has a fixed at, 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 at the value. Uh, it would be unreasonable investing in something other than that. You would not satisfy your fiduciary responsibilities under the bonds. Yeah, that was my conclusion too. Yeah. Right? So, I don't know about this. so this is a resolution we have no choice but to approve, right? Well, no, you have a choice. You, yeah. you can choose 
to keep it in the prime fund and yeah. not move it and be, be subject to whatever that fluctuation is and I can't be behind that. You have a lot of advice saying, saying what will prevent. Obviously, you really don't. But you're saying you're advising this that we should have Absolutely. Well, what I said doesn't count. I appreciate Paul because I didn't prep him with this before he came in the meeting today. Sorry, I stepped out for a moment. Uh, Do you want me to repeat anything? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm fully familiar with uh, what you said. That's the, next, the next is call for a call for a resolution to be. And then we'll open discussion. Is it resolution 2016 104? Is there a motion, motion by Mr. Lovett? Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Diaz. Is there any discussion from the floor? Not uh, all in favor? Uh, Any opposed? All right, resolution 2016-104 is passed. Next is uh, uh, the approval of the extending the engagement of Goody Clancy and Associates to provide as the design review of projects for one year from October 20, 2016 through October 19. Um, 2017 resolution 2016-105. Pretty Clancy, as you know, as, as provided on an ad. <laughs> Is there a second to that? 
second in number still up. Now, CC. Um, I just have two questions. Um, in the review that if you can't see completes, is a community impact report part of that review? They do a review that in conjunction with their next plan. It's designed uh, CC. It's primarily designed. In impact, impact is part of the application, but Goody Clancy doesn't do an impact. Design. So like, okay, so let me get a visual on this. So then say they want to put flower pots out in the, the middle of the sidewalk. Design. Design? Or? Uh, just to, just to clarify that, that or? Or? let's back up a second. The project goes through the process of, of getting city planning approval. Okay. That's the function of city planning. Mm -hmm. The aesthetics and things of that nature. Okay. Unfortunately, Mr. Kojak, who is who had to leave early, sits on the planning okay. board and he could better describe that. Okay. So what specifically as far as design does we want to look at I haven't been looked at other planning commission and this work or architectural architectural uh, such as what we, we weren't here, but they talked about um, the visual effect of a uh, uh, brick across the entire uh, facade. So they wanted changes in the facade, for instance. Uh, that kind of thing. They also asked, they, 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 many clients who wanted them to change the entrance to the parking lot. They wanted to relocate them. And mm -hmm. that became physically impossible. They could have done it, but that could cost the 30 parking spaces. So, and, and Goody Clancy came around and said, mm -hmm. the, after the same, this goes back and forth between the developers and Goody Clancy. And in the end, Goody Clancy said, yeah, we understand that. So. They, they might describe setback issues, yeah. trying to create some open spaces by creating setbacks. Didn't Woody Clancy uh, initial report address some of the issues that they're asking about? You know, they were looking at the entire city and a portion of it from a different perspective, not only engineering architect, but like some of the that's, that's the city, that's the downtown plan that, that they created. That they basically, so basically you know, you know that you should study. One, so, I got the plan, thanks for providing that to me. But um, this is just one aspect of that plan, specifically for the design. So all, sorry, of, all of our concern about the affordable housing and how they recommend that it should be placed has nothing to do with this. Um, <coughs> Not for this project. Okay. Not for these projects, specifically. Okay. In all, in all, in all fairness, I want to open up my other talk. But really, the downtown plan calls for affordable housing. It's just a question of trying to fit it in and where do you fit it in and when do you fit it in and when do you fit it in. That's, 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 so that is an element of it. The one thing on this particular project that they didn't do as much of as I would hope, but fortunately, JB you know, Riley worked the problem as well as anybody possibly could is the impact on the arts community. He did as much as he could possibly do, and I think he worked very well. But Goody Clancy pretty much ignored it in what I've seen him do before. Well, and I think that was disappointing, but I still think they do good stuff about design. But that's really what they seem to do best. Well, and that's all, that, that may be all that we engaged them for. On this particular review, I'm not sure that we engaged them for uh, a discussion of how it would affect the arts community uh, and how they could set it up for construction and other ones. And that's far, that probably far exceeded the, the, the expectations and probably would be far exceeded the cost. Better yet, what we did was have J.B. Riley sit down with the arts community and work it out, along with the parking authority, what it would look, what it was going to look like, and then they all met together with the 
their to the best of their ability how it should be handled. Rather than have someone from afar trying to figure out how best to do Which it has not been. And we can debate that. 
but the goody clancy is not going to tell us what whether we should do that or not. We have to make that judgment ourselves. Right. And as I said, in my opinion, will we get enough market rate housing to support the downtown development that really shouldn't enter into the picture, given the fact that there is a lot of affordable housing in our downtown. 